Hello everyone, this is Irene Yoga and I will invite you to explore together Power Yoga Flow, perfect for Kappa dominant constitution or unbalancing of Kappa dosha. We will bring heat, lightness and mobility with more vigorous Power Yoga Flow because we want to encourage the opposite elements to bring back the body and mind into the balance. This flow is designed to stimulate circulation by approaching the flow with elements of alignment and stability. When you are ready, let's get started in the middle of the mat. Leave the sole of the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Leave your hands into the prayer position and start to tune into your breathing. Take Ujjayi breath, or if you want to take just deeper inhale and exhale, that's absolutely fine. Settle into the breathing and start now to connect and listening your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Maybe set your intention for the practice to stay tuned and stay focused for the start to the finish. Release the hands on the back, drop the shoulders and opening your heart. Gaze up. Look up. And take inhale, exhale. Now take a few rotation into your shoulders back. And take some rotation forward. Extend your arms over the head. Gaze up. Interrupt your fingers. Place behind of your head and peel your shoulders and your elbows back. Leave the left arms back and moving to the left side. Moving to the center and just switch sides. So leave the hands, release the right arms and just peel the left elbows back. Come back to the center. Interrupt the fingers behind, stepping into the front of your mat. Create a mini back bend. Look up. And dive forward. Release your hands down. Take a moment with the knees bent to relax your spine. You can stay with the hands down or maybe place the hands behind, interrupt the fingers on the back, breathing in. Push the head behind to your palms. Leave the left palms outside to the right leg and twist to the right side. And switch sides, take the left palms down into the mat, moving to the left. Come to the center, lengthening the crown of your head and exhale for fold. Step back the left leg, leave the right leg forward. Ensure the front leg is perpendicular with your mat. Place the back knee down. Breathing in and breathing out. Find your fingers on the back. Interrupt the fingers. Stretch your elbows back. Look up to the sky and take nice long inhale. Place the hands down. Step back into table toe. We'll take in some cow calf stretch by drop the chest and curving the spine. We'll bring the breathing again, drop the chest, look up, with exhale, curve the spine. Be welcome to pause this video anytime you want and spend more time in the poses. Otherwise, extend the right leg back, bring the knee to the chest, send it back with nice long inhale, bring the knee to the chest. Some movement into the hips one more time. Bring the knee over a few inches of the ground and now flexing and moving to the side three times. Move the right knee to the side. Come back to the center. Lift your hip bones up. Pedal your legs into first down dog. Taking any movement, any things you want. Maybe moving the head, pedal the legs. Pushing the chest, your knees. Lift your heels up. Look between your hands. Step many steps you want between your hands. Coming forward into your mat. When you reach forward. You're lengthening the crown of your head and exhale your forefold. Bend your knees, leave the head to be the last one. Extend your hands all the way up into your sky. Create a mini back bend and release your hands down. Step the other leg. The right leg is back. Left leg is forward. Again, ensure the, the front heel is a back off in the top of your ankle. Elevate the back leg tiny bit to play with the back knee, releasing down. Settle in. And when you're ready, again, interrupt your fingers behind, open your chest, sending back, look up, gaze up, 
opening your chest. When you're ready, place your hands down. Lift your back knee up or otherwise come back into tabletop. We're moving the same to the other side. Left leg back. Exhale, bring to the chest. Breathing in and breathe out to the chest. Breathing in, bring out to the chest. Hover a few inches off the ground and take three times or maybe take more times depending how you want to practice to the side. Lift back into your down dog, lift your hip bones up, looking on your knees, pedal your legs, maybe taking again, maybe moving into your wrists, maybe shaking your hands, your head. Look between your hands, tiptoes all the way between your hands. Bend your knees, extend your hands over the head. Exhale, release your hands down. Lengthening, step in here, the left leg back, lift the right leg forward, breathing in, extend your hands up, exhale, press the hands down, shoot back into your plank, notice your plank, but for the beginning of the class, we'll place the knee down, bring the elbows next to the body, exhale down, moving into upper dog or cobra and come back down dog. Again, start to walk, tiptoes the legs all the way forward, bend your knees, lengthening up, extend your arms up. Release your hands down, send the back the right leg, settle into the high lunge, extend your arms up, breathing in and breathe out straight away, place your hands down. Send back into your plank, take an extra breath, place the knee down and exhale down. Lift up and come back into your down dog or otherwise knee down. You can come with the knees down. You're tucking the toes and just expose the chest forward, send your arms back, look up to the sky, opening the front body, and place your hands down into the mat and move back into down dog. Taking again any movement you want. We start now to energize the body, create more heat. Take the right leg up, bend his legs, stack the hip up. Look between your hands, step the right leg forward, place the back heel down and extend your arms up. Breathing in, breathe out, place your hands down, come back in plank, take an extra breath when you drop the chest. Or if you can take in with one long exhale down, be welcome. Take the left leg up, reach up, bend his legs, stack the hip, bring to the chest, stepping between your hands, back heel down, extend, no inhale, extend your hands down. Come back into your plank, maybe place the knee down, release the body down, lengthening up and come back into down. Settle in. Right leg up, bend his legs, stack the hip, bring to the chest and holding this time to the chest, lift up, send the knee up, bringing now to the right elbow and coming up, bringing to the chest, stepping between your hands, place the back heel down, expose up into your warrior one, extend your hands all the way down, come back here and see if you can lift the left arms down, extend the right arms up, back leg into the high lunge. Get this twist, settle in, place the hands down, just spend here a moment, a little bit, maybe moving back and forth if you wish, and come back into plank, hold your plank, check in your plank, if you want to release your toes, this is quite strong for the core, so you point the toes back into the mat, pushing here, now tailbones back into the mat, very gentle possible, diving down, when you reach up in upper dog and come back into your down dog. Reach the left leg up, opening the chest, and bring the knee to your chest. Send up. Left knee, left elbow. And send up. Again, bring it to the chest, stepping between your hands, place the back heel down, warrior one or virabhadrasan one, place the hands down, leave the right palms down, left arms up, back leg into the high lunge. Take a moment. Pushing in your mat, place the hands down, maybe tiny movement back and forth to release the hip. Be welcome to step back again into your own plank or if you want to make it harder, point in the toes, tailbone stuck in the mat, core is engaged, pushing in your shoulders and very gentle drop down. You might moving up in upper dog or cobra and come back into your down dog. Looking on your knees. Lift your heels up, tip toes all the way between your hands or just making into the middle of the mat. Bend your knees, extend your hands up into briefly into Utkatasana and bring your hands into the preposition twist to the right side, left elbows 
on top to the right knee and start to twist. Pushing up, checking your knees to be in alignment, drop the shoulders away. Look down. Release the hands down, start gentle to extend your legs, finding the elbows and just let it go. Let's let the gravity to take over. When you're ready, bend your knees, come back into chair pose briefly, place the hands into the prayer position, twist to the other side. Settle in. Release the hands down into the mat, lengthening the crown of your head, placing the palms a little before, lift your heels up if it's available, and just make a way back into your plank or place the knee down and settle into first child pose. Just sending your hands forward, relax the head into the mat. That was a warm up sequence. So make yourself comfortable. Maybe lifting your wrist up. Now just spider the fingers into your mat and feel this energy into your arms, into your spine. Say so inhale through the nose and release the air out through your mouth. Come back into your tabletop, tuck in the toes, walk your hands under the shoulder. And if you want to, again, curve in the spine and just lift your knees up into down dog. Looking on your knees, take the toes together, take the right leg up, bend his legs, stack the hip, opening up, or wake up the core, bring the knee to the chest and step in between your hands, place the back heel down. And lift your upper body up. Take a moment to squaring the hips forward. And just really think about your alignment. Place your hands behind of your head. Interrupt the fingers. And again, draw the elbows back. Sinking into the front leg. And really engaging the edge on the back leg. Core it engage. Rooting down into the front leg, into the all four corner on the front leg, and move the transition into warrior two. So settle into your legs. Maybe you can place the front heel into alignment with the back of your heel, or maybe back of your arch of the heel, and start to extend the right arms forward, left arms back, look forward, and you settle here with a few more breathing. Take a nice long inhale. Don't rush. The more we settle in, the more we create that internal heat. We are looking for this practice today. Stabilize. Start to extend the front leg. Bring both legs parallel each other. Place your hands on your hips. And now start to expose the toes to the side, bring the heels a little bit inwards and start to bend the knees to the side. So not bringing the mat to the side and just take a moment to settle in this pose. Place your hands on your knees and just encourage, open your arms, palms and lengthening the crown of your head. Just take a moment here. When you're ready, start to extend your legs. Take into worry to to the left side so the left leg is bent the knee is stopping on top of the ankles not too much forward and drop a little bit the left knee to the left side extension into the arms rooting down into the back leg edge of the back leg sinking breathing in and breathe out take your hands down framing the front leg and start to Maybe shuffle the back leg into the high lunge and start to extend the front leg. Get a little bit of stretch into the hamstrings muscle on the back. Breathing in and exhale, dive down. Come back here into your plank. Take a nice uh, plank again. You can stay in your plank, you can take the knee down. And if you want to make it harder, point in the toes and draw the tailbones into the mat dive down with control you lift in cobra or upper dog and come back into your down dog place the chest closer to the knees send your hip bones up to the sky breathing in left leg is up bend his legs stack the hip look between your hands 
And now placing the left leg forward, back heel is down, settle in into the front leg and now start to make your way. Settle here and notice your hips parallel the front of your mat. Place your hands behind of your head. Push the head back into your palms if it's okay and opening the chest up or just stay tall. When you're ready, you make the transition on the legs into warrior two. The distance between legs will give you that burning sensation. The more open your legs, the harder it will be. I'm just looking forward. Again, just stay the pelvis in the outer space. Breathing in, breathe out. Start to extend the front leg. Place your hands on your hips. Bring both legs parallel each other. Point the toes to the side, place your hands on your knees and this time bring your hands into the prayer position. If you want prayer position, otherwise place your hands on your chest and now lengthening up, move your head up, stretch the front of your neck, find the fingers behind, interlock, stretch the legs and moving to the warrior two to the right side. So sinking and again creating the same position to the front leg. Now well move the palms down into the mat. Take a moment to extend the front leg. Relax down. When you're ready, bend the front leg. Step back into plank. Hold your plank in any variation you want. Maybe toes, maybe knee down, maybe relax down, nice and gentle opening into upper dog or cobra and come back when you're ready into your down dog, looking on your knees. Now pushing the chest closer to the knees and just start to feel this energy into this down dog. Separate the legs tiny bit, maybe extend one arms up, stretch your fingers, maybe touch your leg, same leg, same arms, maybe lift the other leg up or maybe two so maybe lift up and come back switch sides take the other hands stretching the fingers the same arm same leg and maybe extend the back leg opening up create a little bit of balance place the leg down position we move back into plank settle in now we start to cross the left um, angle on top to the right and move all the way to the right side. Take the left arms up, look up. Now bringing the right leg into three pose. Place the hands down, come back into your down dog. Pushing in your hands and really activating your arms. Let's switch sides. Take the left um, angle on top to the right. Just moving all the way this time to the left side, extend the right arms up, release the left leg into briefly three pose, place the hands down, come back into your plank, exhale down, opening the chest in upper dog and bring your hip bones up into down dog, settle into your down dog, now we'll start to energize this um, practice, eight times we we'll lift the leg, uh, right leg up and eight times bring this knee to the chest and send up. So moving into maybe to the plank if you wish like I'm doing or maybe you stay in down dog and bringing maybe place the back knee down if you feel hard. I choose eight times and stay with the breathing. So one movement, one breath, eight times bring into the chest and up to the sky. When you have all these eight times, Maybe you have said you can pause the video and to make it longer. Now sending the right leg between your hands and moving to warrior two. So setting back the back heel into the mat and now coming into alignment of the warrior two. Settle in, sending the left arms behind. Maybe touch the front leg, extend the right arms forward, switch the palms up and now lift the right arms up. Don't move the front leg, breathe from the side of your body. And now bend the right elbows on top to the right knee and draw the left shoulders away. Look up, maintain your neck long. If you want to extend the placing the 
right arms down into the mat, maybe fingertips, maybe if you have blocks, move the blocks, but maintain the shoulders away from the ear. Take a few more moments, look down, and come back here into warrior to extend the front leg, PV from the left side, and again, now moving to triangle pose to the left side. So any variation you wish, fingertips can stay along on your ankle. But extend the um, arms over the head this time. Or maybe if you have more, you can place the left palms outside to the front leg and opening up to the sky from the hips and shoulders parallel with the mat. Now framing the front leg, bending into the front leg. And now from here, step back into plank. Excel into vinyasa or maybe you skip a vinyasa and come back into down dog. Settle into down dog, looking on your knees, sit bones up in the sky. Same leg, right leg up, bend this leg, open up. One more flow, bring to the chest, to the right leg. And again, eight times, six times, any variation. I choose eight times again. I breathing in and breathe out, breathing in. And breathe out, breathing in, and breathe out, breathing in, breathe out eight times. When you have your numbers of eight times or six times, place the front leg forward, opening your chest into the high lunge. Have the fingers down, engaging your core. And now bring the back leg forward, bend your knees, take a moment here and find your elbows behind of your legs, leave the head down. Pivot tiny bit on the toes, lengthening the crown of your head, place. You can jump back into your plank when you're ready and come back into your down dog, looking on your knees, taking the left leg up, reach up, stack the hip to the side. And again, moving eight times. So try to equalize the same numbers of repetition you have on one side, the same we need to keep on the other. I choose eight times to bring the knee to the chest and I'm keeping my inhale and exhale nice and steady. I'm moving back and forth tiny bit into a plank and back to feel some movement also into the shoulders. Take the left leg forward, place the right heel down and extend into warrior two. Settle in, extend your hands. This time we're moving on. Take the right arms behind. You might start to encourage the fingertips to come again, touching the front leg. Switch the left arms up and move up into peaceful warrior. Breathing in and breathe out. Place the left elbows on top to the left leg and draw the shoulders away. You can stay here. You can extend the left arms down into the mat. Look over to the sky or maybe the palms can be flat. Your choice. But stay with the core engage and draw the shoulders away. Look forward. Come up. Extend your legs into warrior two and come into triangle pose on the other side. So extend the right leg. If you want, again, notice if you can placing the hand on the back, any variation you wish, and then coming into triangle pose, leave the left fingers down and extend the top arms up. If you want, well meal these right arms over the head. And again, notice how you feel into your hips. Release the hands down, bend the front leg. Place your hands and now step back here into plank. Exhale down, lift up into your upper dog, come back down dog, settle into your legs, take a moment. Same leg, left leg up, reach up, exhale, bring to the chest. Eight times, I choose eight times and I keep my breathing in and breathe out. Again, breathing in and breathe out when you move here, uh, feeling the rotation in your hips, feeling a stability in your arms. But And when you have all eight times done, you prepare to move back here into step the front leg forward, lengthening up, pushing into a high lunge, and now engage your core. And very gentle when you already start to bring the back leg all the way forward. Leave your head down and start to walk your legs a little bit wider. This time find your elbows and just let it go. Leave your head, leave your shoulders, just bouncing to the left and right. Buttocks up. 
shoulders relax. Place your hands down into the mat, bending here your knees. And moving tiny bit one side to another, moving to Malasana to open the hips. If this is too hard for you, you straight away you can bring a yoga block underneath of your hip bones. Or just take a steady, place the hands into the mat, any variation you wish. Place your hands down, lengthening up and stay here. If you might just moving up and forth like a frog. If you have uh, briefly the crow pose with the toes, just maybe one leg up, maybe both legs up. Any variation you, you practice. Come back down. Place your knees into your mat and settle in. Start to roll your uh, mat if it's necessary. I just like to protect the knees, so I just roll my mat and I place my knees on my mat. And just start to settle into variation of camel pose, tucking the toes, leave your knees parallel, heels parallel. Breathing in, lengthening here your arms over the head, reach your spine up, place your hands on your chest. And now with activate, push your chest, stir them into your hands. This is can be a little bit hard, difficult, but just pushing the sternum into your hands and allow the head down. When you're ready, you can release your fingers down. Avoid twisting your head left and right. You can leave one leg up if you wish. Maybe another one up, just playing with this pose. Or just settle in, just stay still here into camel pose. Just take a moment and opening up. Leave the head to be the last one, come and go, release the toes. Place your bum back to your heels and just take a moment here. Notice how you feel after this pose. Notice what's going on. You can stay here and you can walk your hands back. Open your chest, knees together, look up. You can stay here. Explore this or maybe bend your elbows down into your mat. So maybe the elbows over the head, lift your chest, any things you want to do to open your chest. You can stay longer in this pose if you wish. I just come up and just now start to rolling back. Take a moment and release the mat back. Extend your hands into child pose, release the head down, stretch your fingers all the way forward. Take a moment to let it go. Rest for a second here. And when you're ready, come back into your knees. So knees together. Now leave the left sole of the fist closer to the right knee. And again, if you don't feel comfortable, place a yoga block underneath to the left hip bones and start to take a twist. So twist your body to the left side, place your elbows outside to the left knee and push the fingers down into the mat and open your chest, draw the shoulders, get a twist from your belly button. Come back, release and just extend your hands into child pose. Now we're moving to the post posture. We stimulate the digestive system, immunity. So this twist is fantastic. So moving to the other side, this time bend the right leg closer, lengthening up. And when you're ready now, you can just take a gentle twist, but if it's available to place the elbows outside to the right leg and twist your body to the right side, just do. It's good feeling and into the spine. So open the spine, the back. Come back to the center and now start to extend your legs forward. We'll activate even deeper the core and create some more stability into our practice. We settle to Navasana or bow pose. If you have your hands underneath of your knees, you can stay here, lift your legs up. If you have the flexibility to extend your legs and release your hands, please do looking on the big toes. We'll stay here for a few breaths. Don't hold your breath, feeling the core engage, place your hands underneath, extend your legs, place your hands next to your bum and just move the hip bones back. Breathing in, pushing in your mat, lift your hip bones up and place the bum back down. Settle for the second time, so bend your knees again, stay any variation you wish. 
you can stay with the knees uh, bend or maybe maybe elevate maybe extend extend your hands stay here for five breaths Or maybe longer or maybe short again settle in extend the legs pushing the heels flexing the sole of the feet lift your sit bones up and place the bum back down breathing in we'll do one more time so settle in place your hands underneath of your knees this time maybe you challenge yourself to extend your legs for the last time bow pose or navasana good for core stability looking on your toes crossing your ankles this time and again cross your ankles now if you can rolling over your ankles and come back into your plank from the plank drop down opening your heart and come back into down dog or from the down dog you can release your body all the way flat down into the mat close your eyes just take a moment here moving the hips to one side to another moving for maybe half bow or full bow pose is a very good for asthma or grid for sinuses congestion so you can uh, come down on the stomach and leave the pelvis direct on the floor and you see if you can find your ankles or maybe you can find some it's also you have a strap you can use the strap flexing the sole of your feet whatever you want and if you have the flexibility enough, you can find your ankles and you can reach both ankles up and lift your chest up. I don't recommend to stay too long in this pose. Just release the head down and just moving to one side or another. Or just take back in stillness for a few more breaths. Place the hands under the shoulders. Leave the head up, look forward. Open into upper dog and just come back into your down dog. From the down dog position, you look between your hands and step here, the right knee forward, left knee forward, and come back with the bum back down and settle back into the pose. I'm just uh, extend the legs. We're moving some variation here into bridge poses. So again, first bring the knee into the chest, leave the sit bones closer uh, to your heels and heel closer to the hips and relax in here. Stay the sole of the feet down into the mat. If you have some uh, um, long legs or maybe some issue with your back you can just separate the legs tiny bit if you have a yoga block you can place a block underneath of the sacrum not on the spine and allow the sacrum to stay on the block maybe interrupt the fingers pushing the chest up and start to activate the breath avoid twist the head so we won't twist the head side to side If you want to place the block down, release the bum back down. And again, just settle in here. Don't worry, release your hands. And just again, you took in, maybe you, I said, you might pause this video. You can take another two or three bridge poses. You even more, you can pause the video and stay, stay longer into the poses. If you want to move back up into your bridge again, maybe find your ankles this time and open up, reach up. You can even more, you can flap the fingers under the shoulders and just start to push the mat away and lift up in any variation of you want. Maybe you have the wheel practice, anything you wish. But when you come down, come down into the mat one vertebra by the time to increase the fluid into, into the spine and come back all the way down. Move the knees left and right stay to one side let's say to the right place the right ankle on top to the left if it's available and twist your head to the left side let it go softening into your breathing and move up and switch to the other side so stack the knees to the left side and take the left ankle on top to the right and just let it go go take a moment bring the knees into your chest give your knees a hug maybe squeeze the knees maybe rolling to one side to another leave your head maybe the forehead touching the knees massaging your lower back your spine beautiful extend your legs up 
and allow the toes, the ankles, the knees and hips in alignment. If it's not available for you, you can maybe place a yoga block underneath of the sacrum and extend your legs up. Maintain this position and let it go. You can remain here. Or if you have a shoulder stand, you start to prepare into shoulder stand. So placing again the hip bones back, push the shoulders away from your ears, bring the elbows closer and now create a little momentum over the head. Use the abdominal muscle and place your hands underneath of your hips and just extend your hands, the legs up. Toes, ankles, knees, hips and shoulders into alignment. Looking on the toes, do not turn your head. If you have flexibility to allow the toes to over the head, please do. Pointing the toes and pushing the hip bones up. The pose is so good. Again, massaging the lungs. It's good for the breathing. And you might, uh, it's very good for the lungs. So if you sometimes come out and you have some cough, then don't worry, it's normal. <laughs> come all the way up. If you want to play with the next pose, you just uh, use your imagination, place the um, thumbs behind of um, the back and just moving back into your bridge, if you wish. And releasing the spine back down. Moving back into the core, last activation into the core muscle. So lower back, now pushing the lower back really down into the mat, cross the right leg on top to the left, one hook or double hook, right arms underneath to the left. Now breathing in, breathe out, crunch in the middle. So lift here your elbows on your knees, the toes touching the mat, the fingertips touching the back, maybe taking eight times each size. But really maintain the lower back into the back of your mat. Use the abdominal muscle and use your breathing. Holding the last one if you wish. Unwrap your legs. Take a moment and settle to the other side. Take the left crossing once or maybe twice. Maybe extend your arms and again take the left underneath to the right this time and taking again eight times crunching the elbows and the knees into the middle. With exhale, and inhale you releasing over the head and the toes on the back taking a few more movement like this mm -hmm. uh, wrap your legs and take a moment settling back move the knees to one side to another take the hands behind of your head allow the elbows to relax down into the mat and just close your eyes Breathing in, breathe out, lift your head, lift your shoulders. You can stay here, otherwise leave your knees up in 90 degrees between your knees and just extend your arms, touch your fingers and release down. And again, lift up, maintain this lower back flat down into the mat. We'll go very deep activation into the core, in special source muscle, pelvic, all this nice body here opening up. Maybe taking eight times again, touching the fingertips, maybe taking 12 times. Now, pushing your palms into the top of your knees, lower back down, down into the mat and push the knees, push the knees and lower back. This is good for so as release the hands down, legs down, extend your arms over the head, stretch your body all the way. Take a moment to feel this lengthening up bend your knees and now start to come back into your mat if you settle in bring in the elbows under the shoulders place your hands under the back curving the spine the top of your head back maintain the curving r sensation on the thoracic spine if you want to make it harder extend your legs and the arms up just release the legs down release the shoulders down and here we are. We settle to the last pose, one of the most important pose here into Shavasana. So make yourself comfortable. You can, if you want to cover your eyes, you can cover your eyes. You start now to get to the final pose to let it go. You can have your legs to the side and you can cross your ankles on top to the other. 
and relax here. And if you can maintain this during Shavasana, please do. Otherwise, I will move during the practice and I'll just switch the other ankle on top and I extend the legs after. So we'll spend here a couple of minutes to allow the entire body to soften it, to melting into the point of the contact beneath you. So you might extend your legs. It's a beautiful place to end of the practice. And notice where you hold any tension. And just let it go. And you can spend here long as you wish. Take nice long inhale. And when you inhale, welcome the positive energy and the well being, happiness, and gratitude for the practice and the time you spend on the mat. And when you exhale, just take out from the body all the toxin, anything is not good for you. When you're ready to come out here, you can bend your knees, you know, just take a moment to roll to one side and taking straight away here, the body face down into the mat. Just take again a moment here, the head is down, notice how you feel by lying flat down into the mat. Settle in. Place your hands next to your chest, suck in the toes and lift the body into a nice tabletop. Curve in the spine and drop the chest for a few more cow calf stretch to release any tension you might hold into your back, into your shoulders. Get rid of any, any things might left into your body, any tension, any stiffness. Walk your hands back to your knees. And just take a moment, roll the shoulders back. You can soften in the gaze down into the mat. Take some rotation into your shoulders back. Take some rotation in your shoulders for time to rebalance. Extend your hands up. Look up to the sky. Nice long inhale and bring your hands into the prayer position. I'd like to thank you so much. You take the practice with me today. See you next time. Namaste.